hey guys here welcome back to my channel my name is nelo and you are watching nelo stitches so today's tutorial is going to be on how to cut a perfect fit bustier so i will share with you the method i use in cutting my bustier i've been using this method for a very long time now and it has never failed me even for once if you follow this tutorial carefully you'll be able to cut a perfect fit bustier for your clients that your client can even wear it even without wearing a bra and it will lap very well i'll also share with you standard measurements for nipple to nipple and your half length standard measurements for your half length and also the distance between your bust point to your on the bust okay so also note that you can mark directly on your fabric okay i use this paper just for so that what i am marking will be clear but you can mark this directly on your fabric so to fold your fabric all you need to do is to divide your biggest measurement by four so in this case the biggest measurement i'm working with is 36 which is the bust 36 divided by four is nine then i will be adding extra seven inches allowance okay because we'll be minusing like three inches that's from this bust here and then we have it we'll be needing like extra um two inches for sewing allowance or two or three in, it depends okay so just uh to be on a safer side add like extra seven inches to your fabric if you're cutting directly on your fabric okay but if you're not cutting directly on your fabric you're cutting with paper you just do it the way i am going to teach you all right if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, like and share this video. Help the channel grow by subscribing and liking this video. Alright, so um, the first thing I'm going to do now is to show you what some measurements on a mannequin so that when we are doing it, you will understand. So I'll be using this mannequin as our model for today. So here is your chest line. In case if you don't know where chest line is, and it also serves as your armhole line, okay? this is a chest line it's also serve as your armhole line all right and from your shoulder from the shoulder to your nipple is your bust point which is your nipple um your bust line okay from the shoulder and from here to here is your bust span which is your nipple to nipple the distance between one nipple and the other okay and from the shoulder to under your bust here is under bust line from the shoulder to here is under bust line and when you take your tape around it like so it's gonna be your round under bust I hope that is clear when you take the tape round it's going to be your round on the bust and from the shoulder to this point is your half length which is like three inches above your uh, navel okay and from there to here is a waistline which is usually used for maybe your skirt or whatever but we are not going to be using this for this tutorial i just want to show you one or two things so that when i'm saying boss point on the boss you get what i am trying to say okay so let's go to the cutting table all right so here i'm going to mark all my horizontal line which is from the shoulder to boss point to nipple uh, on the bust and my half length i am going to do that offline okay and then i'll show you um the next thing to do okay all right so now i have marked that this is my chest line also the armhole line so i have a tutorial on how to cut this armhole okay so you can check that out so that is my chest line <coughs> sorry and then the next one is my bust line okay this is my bust line from the shoulder to where your to your nipple is your bust line and this is my on the bust and then this is my half length which is the waistline also if you're making a blouse or a gown okay so now we have our chest line bust line on the bust line and waistline okay so i'm going to share with you a standard measurement for your nipple to nipple um distance okay the standard measurements the basic measurement for um your bust pan measurement guide is um from bust 32 to 34 you use bust pan of seven inches 
bust 36 to 38 he used nipple to nipple of 7.5 to 8 inches bust 40 to 42 he used bust span of 8.5 to 9 inches from bust 44 to 46 you use bust um nipple to nipple measurement of nine and quarter to nine three quarter from bust 48 to 50 you use bust measurement of um, um sorry nipple measurement of 10 inches from bust 52 to 54 you use bust pan of 10.5 from bust um 56 to 58 you use bust pan of 11 and mind you all these measurements i listed you're going to divide them by two because this fabric is on fold okay so in case you're using bust from maybe we are doing for bust 50 something 56 remember i said the bust pan is um 11 so that means you're going to mark 5.5 here okay if you are making for a bigger bust maybe bust 56 to 58 you're going to use um the bust pan of 11 which is 11 divided by 2 because your fabric is on four so if you don't want to use the bust pan guide you can divide your bust circumference divide by 8 minus 1 okay so the bust circumference i'm working with here is 36 all right so 36 divided by 8 will give us 4.5 okay we'll have 4.5 and then 4.5 minus 1 we have 1 okay that is we have 3.5 that is if you don't want to use the bust um span guide that i shared with you earlier you can just divide your bust by eight minus one inch whatever you get you add half inch to it like now what i got was 3.5 then i added half inch so what i am marking here now is four inches half inch is for sewing allowance okay so i'm going to draw a straight line there here like this okay so if you remember the standard measurement i gave you bust 36 to 38 is 7.5 to 8 inches okay so it's similar because if you multiply this by two you get seven inches okay 3.5 plus 3.5 you get seven inches so if we are to use 7.5 as listed on the bust span guide if you are to use 7.5 which is the number two of the measurement i gave you is going to be 3.75 which means the difference is just 0 0.25 all right so we also have standard measurements for half length okay and i'm going to give you that okay so the standard measurement for half length from bust 28 to 30 your half length should be 14 to 14 and half okay 14 to 14 and half and bust 36 to 38 your half length should be 16 to 16 and half as you can see here is 16 and i'm working for bust 36 okay i'm working with bus 36 so this is 16 okay and i did not use the standard measurement i just used a client measurement all right so bust 40 40 to 42 you use the half length of 16 and half to 17 my boss is 42 i usually use 17 okay so bust 44 to 46 he used half length of 17 and half bust 48 to 50 you use half length of 18 bust 52 to 54 you use the half length of 18 to 18 and half while bust 56 to 58 you use half length of 18 and half also all right that is the basic or standard half length measurement okay so like my in my case my bust is 40 i usually use 17 as my half length or 16 and half okay so that is the basic half length so um that is for our half length so from your bust line to your on the bust usually 3.5 to 4 inches okay so 
in case if you don't know how to, if you're a guy and you cannot measure the under bust of your client because you don't want to touch her bust, you can just mark 3.5 from your bust point down. Okay, the distance between your under bust to your bust is usually 3.5 to 4 inches. All right, so just mark 3.5 or 4 inches depending on the bust of your client. All right, so um, <clears throat> now we are going to be talking about the cup. So to get your cup, the formula is your bust circumference minus your under bust circumference divided by 2. Whatever you get, you divide it by 2. The bust I'm working with is 36, while the under bust is 30. So to get your cup, the formula is your bust circumference divided by your, your bust circumference minus your under bust circumference divided by 2. Bust circumference minus under bust circumference divided by 2. So the bust circumference I'm working with is 36 why the under boss is 30 so minus 36 from 30 you have 6 left and 6 divided by 2 will have 3 okay so you mark 1 inch here and 2 inches on this side okay so let's say this is not 6 that is 10 10 divided by 2 you have 5 oh sorry guys it's 2 not uh, is 2 then you have equals to 3 for this so let's say it's 10 divided by 2 you have 5 mark 1 inch here and 4 inches here whatever you get 1 inch on the on your left hand the remaining inches on your right hand because our bust and our shape is different okay so in one of my tutorials somebody asked me a question she said her bust is 50 and then the under bust is 48 what is she going to do so as you can see 50 minus 48 you have 2 so 2 divided by 2 is 1 so in this case what you need to do is to add 2 inches to this measurement after dividing to post the bra the cup of the client okay so 1 inch here and 2 inches here 1 inch on your left hand side which is the center front and 2 inches on the left hand side which is the side okay this is just to post your client cup we have different shapes some people their under bust is smaller than the bust very very small why some their own is a little bit big so we just have different shape follow this method and then you get it right but we are working with this we are not working with that one this is the measurement we are working with so what i'm going to do is to mark one inch here and then two inches here whatever you get one inch on the center front and the remaining inch on the other side and on the boss line i'm going to come down by half an inch and go up by half an inch okay and then i'll connect with a curve you can use your free hand okay so the essence of coming down by half inch and going up by half inch is to eliminate pointy so that your boss cup will not be pointy okay you also connect this point with half uh, sorry with a curve too this way and then we just bring this line here down and then you also bring this other one down to your allowance okay as you can see our boss cup is or that is coming out small small okay so now let's work with a princess that so i'm going to take the round measurement of this armhole okay whatever i get i'll just get the midpoint so here is nine so you can use this point here this midpoint and connect but if you don't want that you can measure just round the armhole and then divide by two just like i did so i measured round the armhole which i have nine and then nine divided by two is going to give us um 4.5 okay what i got is 8.5 so 8.5 divided by two is 4.25 so here is 4.25 or 4.5 then i'll just connect to this point okay with the curve connected to the half inch i i'm connected to the half inch i go up with at the bust line okay remember i went up by half inch i came down by half inch so after that you just blend this point like this okay just to eliminate pointy on the bust point area 
okay so and then next you're going to come down by half an inch here mark half an inch downward like this and then you just use your free hand and connect to this line here like this okay and our princess cup bustier is formed okay so what you do is to add half inch that you mark out inward like this so but I, sorry excuse me i'm marking one inch okay you can always trim it out after joining if it's excess so it's better too much than not enough okay so i'm just gonna connect recover my armhole from there okay i'll just recover the armhole so and that is all so if you're making a shoulder that you can just take this that line upward and then mark half a one one inch on both sides and connect it down and that is all that is if you're working with a shoulder that i have a tutorial on that you can go check that out uh, i will link it on the description box so and that is all about this bust cup tutorial so the next you're going to do is to mark your bust circumference divide by two divide by four i don't know what is wrong with me today bust circumference divide by four under bust divide by four and then your waist circumference divide by four okay so and um remember to add your sewing allowance if you are cutting directly on your fabric okay this is nine inches 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches then you add 2 inches or 3 inches sewing allowance whatever allowance you want to make use of okay so and this under bust you mark your under bust divided by 4 and then you mark these 3 inches that you're going to cut off here or whatever that you're going to cut off and then you add whatever sewing allowance you like same goes to the waist your waist divided by 4 plus the that allowance will be cutting out this is three inches so i'll add the three inches and then two inches or three inches sewing allowance and then you connect and cut out your pattern or your fabric okay if you're confused in any way you can still ask me on the comment below and then i will explain better so guys if you're still watching up to now thank you very much and if you've not subscribed please consider subscribing help the channel grow by subscribing like and share this video okay and also don't forget to check out my other videos so i'm going to take the cotton gently so that this is um tutorial basically on bust uh, cup so that you see how to cut it and then carefully okay guys i forgot to cover my arm um, my armhole i forgot to recover my armhole so i'm going to do that now okay i'm going to recover my armhole so this armhole i'm going to recover it all right okay so just recover your armhole to your measurements okay whatever measurement you're using recover your armhole to your measurement like this all right and then you cut that out so that is our new armhole and for the neckline you can always alter it do whatever you want with your neckline so i just basically do this tutorial only for bust cup okay so you can also check out my princess that bustier tutorial you will see how i add my allowance and everything on that one and you can also check out my shoulder that bustier all right so um as you can see after joining you may have a little bit excess then you trim it out so you remember to notch your bust point okay notch here which is your bust point and notch your under bust and on this other pattern too you also notch the same thing so that it will match when you are joining okay and you cut two of this side and this one you cut on fold so this arrow indicates that you are cutting this on fold okay and that is all for this tutorial guys 
thank you all for watching and see you in my next tutorial have a nice day bye